Hello, so I know it's been a while since I last did a unboxing video or any video on YouTube for that matter But I thought this is the perfect time to do a video because I just got back from New York and um, The past few weeks there's been a lot of new arrivals and everything coming in on like net a -Porte and Farfetch, Matches Fashion and a bunch of my favorite places to shop online and so I've ordered a lot of things and when I got back from New York there were so many packages waiting for me so I thought this would be the perfect chance to do an unboxing video and show you all the new arrivals everything that's been coming into stores that I love and that I purchased um, and kind of show you what I got so behind me are a bunch of packages and uh, we will get through all of them and let me show you everything so before we start this is kind of all the packages that came in there is quite a lot, as you can tell, um, and one of them I already opened because I could not wait. But everything else is still sealed, and we will open all of them together right now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is the one package that I've already opened because I couldn't wait to open this one. It is a pair of shoes, and they are absolutely spectacular. So... It is from Saint Laurent and so usually shoe boxes come in like that other flat box but these are super special so they had like a, a weird um, square shaped box and these are the shoes how amazing and beautiful is this shoe it's pieces like this that really remind me how much I love fashion because this shoe is literally wearable art like the fur feather thing I don't even know what you call this um, the way it goes around like that is so pretty and then there is crystals inside there's a version that doesn't have um, the Swazi crystals inside but I love anything with added sparkle so of course I got the sparkly version and then the best part is this so I when I saw this pair of shoes online I just knew I had to get them because they were so special and so different and I hadn't really seen anything like it before and I love shoes I'm gonna put it on but it's gonna look strange with my outfit so let's see so that is what the shoe looks like when it's on there's a little tag on it still and I think I'm gonna wear them to couture week in July because this shoe would be so perfect for that okay now let's get started with the actual unboxing of the packages that I have not opened yet I have my knife ready and let's get started <laughs> or I am just horrible like worst unboxing award goes to me because this is how I open a package it's so hard so this is from Chanel I wanted this belt when I was in Paris but they were all sold out I'm so glad some of my salesperson in the United States was able to find it because it is my favorite belt from the cruise collection and it's this gorgeous um, Swarovski crystal Chanel belt. I love um, I love Chanel belts, and this one is so cool because it has like these sparkly crystals on the letters. You can wear it over dresses with jeans and everything. Next, we have another package that looks really hard to open, or it's taped like very strangely. Oh look, I just realized, this is so weird, it, they, like they did like two boxes in one. This is a package from Redemption, which is one of my new favorite brands. They make so many beautiful like dresses and like suits and separates and like blazers so this is actually a dress that i already have in red um when I, I wore it when i was in new york and i ordered this dress while i was in new york because the red one when i put it on i was so in love with it and everyone loved it and it was on sale and i was like oh my gosh it's available in black in my size too i need to order it 
so I ordered it and yeah so I have this dress in red and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it here and yeah the dress is so beautiful I had to get it in black too I rarely ever buy two of the same thing in different colors because I just have so many clothes and that's just like not necessary but this dress is really beautiful it's like a black silk dress and it has this it's a halter neck design so the back is all open I'm a little bit too lazy to try the dress on uh, usually I would just try everything on but we have so many packages to get through so I'm not gonna try it on and you can just see a picture of me wearing it <laughs> Shopbop. I ordered these boots from Ghani. I love how it's like a white toe and then it's like this black like cowboy design and it has like a snakeskin um, print on it. Wow, my knee is really red because I was kneeling down on the floor. Um, but I love these. Um, it's like a cute little kitten heel so it's really easy to walk in and I just love the design and the shape. I'm not a huge fan of cowboy boots but these are like cool edgier cowboy boots and i like the snake skin print a lot with like i think the white toe really makes it for me the white toe is really cool it brings out the white and like the snake skin design and everything that i am wearing or everything that you'll see in this video i'm gonna put the link in the description box for you to purchase them because these boots are pretty reasonably priced <laughs> And they always have the prettiest packaging. Alright, this bag I got for Tulum. It's like a tiny little mini um, like Jacquemus bag. And it has this like fringy um, straw detailing on it. I think it's just like the cutest little thing ever. These bags, they don't really fit anything in them. But they're just so cute. And they go with like cute little outfits. I'm just like a big fan of smaller size than like mini bags I love packages like this so thank you Matches Fashion for making opening packages and boxing videos so much easier just take this and then you just pull it and that's it and then the package opens can all of the brands please make packages that are just this easy to open? It would make my life so much easier and we wouldn't have to waste so much time like we did on that first package. They also have really pretty packaging like Net-A-Porte, so I like that. I got a few things from Mattress Fashion. One is this valentino belt i actually wanted the brown color the but it was sold out in my size and the black was sold out and so i just got the burgundy one which is fine because i don't have any burgundy belts anyway it's like really wide and thick and i would just wear it around my waist so let's see oh it would look something like this minus the blue part the blue tape over it but i think it would look cute with um with like high-waisted pants or like over a blazer or something okay this is nothing this is just like a <laughs> empty circle <laughs> alessandra rich is another one of my favorite brands um she just makes so many feminine beautiful dresses i have like so many pieces from her and she's known for doing these like crystal buttons so pretty it's a little bit big for me at the waist which is why i'm holding it in but everywhere else is perfect and oh the mirror is a little dirty i'll see on this one i love how it's like so flowy and it's like a little bit asymmetrical okay i put on my robe because i have to probably try on a few other things and i'm just too lazy to take off my sweater and my jeans every time we have this cute little thing in this marble box <laughs> Now I like cool costume jewelry and I found this brand called Mishu, Misho, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, 
but they make some cool um, like sculptural pieces. Look at this earring. So this is a pair of earrings. I love this. I'm like really into statement earrings and jewelry. And this is definitely a very unique um, statement piece. I got this really fun like chunky chain necklace. I think it will look really nice over like a black turtleneck or something. It's like a choker style, so it fits really closely around your neck. Alright, and this is the last one from this brand, which is another pair of earrings. I really hate how they put this like black stuff in it because it's going to create like a huge mess. Another statement piece. This looks like some sort of like gold leaf with like a slit in it and then like a loopy thing at the bottom. This is also such a cool piece. My ear is red because I had to like jam it in there. My ear hole, I think, almost got closed. This one's a little bit heavier than the other one, but it's still like manageable where it doesn't like hurt your ear. I really like um, this design part here and then it makes it more oversized with this loopy gold wire at the bottom. <laughs> to exchange them the shape fits my face there's not many sunglasses that um, fit the shape of my face <laughs> It's like this purple pink. It's like a mini size and it's adorable. Um, and it comes with this strap with their classic rock stud um, design on it. I usually don't carry my bags with straps. Like I prefer just holding it like with the top handle. So I usually don't use this. And then of course inside there's not that much space for you to put your stuff. But that's not the point. So it's okay. It's just like because it's so cute. And I have this Valentino coat that I think is like the exact same color as this, which would mean it goes perfectly together. Actually, let me go see if I can get the coat and see if it actually is the same purple. Here is the coat, um, the Valentino coat. It's actually from a few seasons ago and this is the bag and I was right. It's like the exact same color. I love this color, so I'm so glad they made a bag in this color. <laughs> that I got from Jacquemus. They're these super cool mules. They have like mismatched heels and like one of them is like this stacked circle and square thing and then the other one is just like this pole thing. I love how they do like mismatched shoes and like earrings and things like that now. And this is what they look like. You can't really actually see the heel unless you look closely or someone's like kneeling down. <laughs> These are a pair of boots that I ordered from Neiman Marcus. Um, they are from Alexander McQueen. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's like etched on there. Oh my god, I am obsessed. It has like a low heel, which makes it easy to like walk in. I actually usually like a really high heel, but I have so many high heels and there was a low version of these and they looked pretty cool, so... I'm glad I got the low one actually. Maybe I'll get the high one later on. I love this like cutout design and then with the silver buckles and then there's like this beautiful white stitching around the um, around the edges and the middle toe is super sleek. They're actually, a li they feel like a little bit big so I probably need to exchange for a half size smaller. They look even cooler on. My feet look so red in this video. And then we have this huge box. Oh, it's like so heavy. Let's open this one. And here we have some Balenciaga shoes. I don't have um, that many white shoes, so whenever I come across 
a really cool pair i always make sure to get them they actually have a really similar design um to those mcqueen ones that i just tried on but these are mules and they're different like the heel is actually like almost the same and then all the buckles and everything and the pointed toe but i think this will look really nice with like denim or something in the summer like with some cropped jeans so this is for sure a keeper even though they're the same as like the other one everything so far that i've opened are like they turn out amazing because i've gotten to the point where like i do so much online shopping that i know like my sizes or i know what the item will actually look like um like in person kind of or from online like i'll know that oh this will work for me or not so I very rarely ever have to return or exchange things. Once you start to shop online more, then you get like a better sense of that and then you know your sizes. They put like these stuffing things. Like this is so weird. It looks like you have something, but it's just a bunch of tissue. This bag from Stoud, Stoud, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that is the brand. And they are super affordable. I think this bag is only like three, four hundred dollars or something. It looks like an accordion kind of. It looks like you can like compress it down and like. And it comes in a few colors. I think there's like white, black, I think there's like a yellow, a mustard color. Um, but of course I chose white because I don't have very many white things. Inside there's like this um, drawstring pouch thing for you to put your stuff. I feel like all I say is cool and unique. But really, those are like, that's like describes everything that I've opened so far. So we have Bestier Collective. Bestier Collective is online shop where you can find vintage or like pre-owned pieces. I really like vintage things. As much as I like buying like all the new season, like the latest stuff that's in the stores, I feel like there's a lot of really cool vintage stuff. So. <laughs> dress that I got from Philosophy di Lorenzo Serafini which is I think one of like it's like related to Alberta Ferretti and he I love Alberta Ferretti it looks almost like Valentina actually with like the lace and the tears and everything so this is what the dress looks like I love the uh, pink and then like the lace tears um, I think it's so classic and it looks very like feminine and it can be casual or dressed up which I think is always nice this is another package from Vestir Collective. Another dress from Philosophy di Lorenzo Serafini. I think actually everything that I ordered from Vestir Collective this time was from this brand. I'm not in the mood to try this on. It's like pastel colors and it's like a lace tier. I think it will be so pretty for spring and summer. <laughs> belt so you tie it around your waist and it has this cool shape so if you can like imagine it i'll try it over my robe but it's not gonna look very good I so basically it will look something like this it actually looks not that bad over my robe which means over actual clothes it will look a thousand times better i really love this like structural shape and how it has like the pointed corners and it's like a wide belt anything that kind of like kinches in the waist um i really like that and I think this will look nice over like a blazer or something or even with high-waisted pants. It's kind of like the Valentino belt. Um, it would go with like similar items because they both are like really wide and kind of statement pieces. I already know what's in here because I saw it where it's from. It's from Dior. Before I left for New York, I was in LA because our flight to New York was going to be from LA to LA to New York, not from uh, San Francisco to New York. So I went to LA like for two days before, and I went to Dior. Um, I needed to get a belt altered, so I went to the store, and of course I had to look around, and I found a few things that I loved. I had them ship everything because I was leaving to New York, and every time I travel, my suitcase is already really really full, so there was no need for me to 
try to squeeze it in another bag, earrings, and shoes. I just told you what they were. So I asked them to ship it to my home up here so I can have them just waiting for me. So first we start with this cute little one. This is obviously the pair of earrings. I just love this new like Dior packaging. It's so cute. And let's do this. My battery is dying. It's flashing, so we have to hurry. It's about to die, so I'm not going to try them on and I'm going to have to try to hurry through the rest of this video. And then we have these amazing Ja Dior shoes. I love the Ja Dior shoes. I have so many pairs, but I still had to get this one because I love the like the metallic gold um, like thing around the front and then it's like sparkly crystal. It says Ja Dior. I am not gonna try these on either because we don't have the time. And last but not least is this huge box. <laughs> This is the book tote bag. It's about time I got one, right? Can you believe that I didn't get this bag until just now? Like everyone's been carrying it except for me. I swear everyone has it except for me. But I finally got it. I wanted this navy color and this was like the most popular color so it was sold out. So that's part of the reason why I never got it. It will be so good for traveling because it's really durable. It's like a thick canvas material. We have just two more boxes. Farfetch and it's just like just a plain super cute little Versace. It's like a bandeau top. So it's like yeah, it's like a bra. I'll probably wear it like with high-waisted pants. Um, and then when it's colder, I'll wear like a blazer or something over it. This is the very last one. Where's my knife? Oh right here. And it's from Chanel. This in here is a very, very, very special bag. Okay, so my battery died, but I had another one that was just like a little bit charged. So let's just try to finish the rest of this video with the minimal battery that we have. I was in the middle of opening this Chanel bag. It actually has sand in it. Okay, I'm gonna take off all this like white tissue stuff so we can see it better. So hard to find, um, but it has a. I got the version with the pearl strap. There's a version that doesn't have the pearl strap, which I think is kind of boring. Best part is is that it's like clear, and then there's literally sand in the bag. Like how cool is that? And I don't have a clear bag. I've never had a clear bag before, so you just have to be really careful what you put in here. Like don't put, I don't know, anything that you don't want. I guess people seeing. This is actually the one I was looking forward to opening the most. And it just so happened to be the last package that I opened. So that is it for this unboxing video. I know it was really long, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you liked seeing everything that I got. Now I have a huge mess to clean up, as always, after every unboxing video. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I will see you guys next time. Oh.